Howdy folks, it's Friday. That means we're talking about WandaVision Episode 7, all the things you missed, Easter eggs, references, and a post credit scene. Let's talk all about it. Could Wanda have taken Billy from another family? Check out this carton of milk that I found. It's a missing person on there, a missing kid who looks a lot like Billy when he was younger. The WandaVision theme song this week sounds a lot like the Office theme song. Meanwhile, the title design of WandaVision this week looks a lot like that of Modern Family. Of course, this week was shot documentary style like those two shows. Next, Darcy is wearing that costume that we've been seeing in the posters. The vehicle that Monica and Jimmy Woo are driving in, the sword vehicle, has a number on the back, 35482. This is a reference to a comic book. When I plugged this into Google, it came up with the Fantastic Four teaming up with Spider-Man to fight Doctor Doom. Now, this is another tease that the Fantastic Four are coming to MCU. This week's commercial was to highlight a pill called Nexus. Now, I typed in Nexus into Google, uh, and it came up with Nexus War, a Thor comic book. Next up, the spacesuit that Monica's wearing looks a little loosely based on Iron Man's deep spacesuit. What do you guys think? Maybe just the coloring. We get a sequence where Monica is trudging her way through the hex. Of course, we hear dialogue from the Captain Marvel movie of Maria Rambeau and uh, her younger self as well talking. Then it's Nick Fury and then uh, Jimmy Woo and a doctor, you know, telling her that her mom is dead and she was an inspiration. Uh, and then next up, we hear, last but not least, Captain Marvel. And it's just the, all that dialogue was teasing the fact that M Monica is gaining powers. And of course, she jumps out of the hex for next Easter egg. She becomes Photon. She starts seeing in all kinds of light. Ultraviolet, Gamma, you name it. She sees it. She can tap into it. She's becoming the superhero Photon that we all know and love. And that how we have been theorizing for the entire show, Monica Rambeau has powers. Next, when Vision and Darcy on their little subplot, a construction crew rolls into the middle of the road. Now, when they roll into the middle of the road, a truck that they have has the name Alltech written on it. Now, Alltech is a re reference to wireless headphones that Marvel used to license out. For example, this Spider-Man headset right here. It had Marvel, Alltech, Lansing, Stream, wireless, Bluetooth, headset, or something like that. It was too long of a title. No kidding, they got discontinued. Monica then pulls off her space suit to reveal this jumpsuit that she has that we've been seeing in those posters as well. Next, there's a mailman in the episode. He has a name printed on him called Presto on his t-shirt. This could be a reference to Marvel's Presto Magics back when comic books were their hot ticket item and they only had toys to sell uh, as merchandise minus the comic books. Anyway, one of the Presto Magics were of Secret Wars, which we know is an upcoming Disney Marvel series. Then we get a villain reveal. Agatha Harkness is Agnes. If you don't know who Agatha, Agatha Harkness is and haven't seen the thousands of theory videos that people have on YouTube, then I'll tell you really quickly. She's a super evil witch. That's it. Now let's talk about her lair. There's this bull on the wall. This could be a reference to Bova, a talking cow that helped bring Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch into the world. So then we get a quick little sequence of Agatha behind a ton of things in the show. Pietro's recasting. What else? Oh, there's a. she's got an actual costume that we only see from, the, I think, the thigh down. She's got a cape and all this, boots and, you know, the whole superhero evil, super evil getup. And I could be wrong here, but on her little pendant that she has, doesn't that look like a scythe? Something maybe the Grim Reaper would use? Of course, we saw another Grim Reaper uh, Easter egg in the Bewitched Episode 2 of WandaVision. Last but not least, we got the post credit scene to talk about. Now, this post credit scene is very quick, very snappy, but basically, Monica goes ahead and investigates Agatha Harkness's house. Now, she doesn't want to go through the front door, but she goes through the side, the basement doors. She opens it up. We get some creepy-looking purple vines. And then, when she's just about to go inside, Quicksilver pops up and is like, Snooper's going to snoop. And it gets, that just cuts off right there. Personally, it was kind of a funny moment, but hey, that post credit scene was very quick. Not a lot to talk about there, but it's... I think it's the first post credit scene we've actually gotten in this show. So they're teasing like the last couple episodes to be big and action-packed. I just know it. And I'm still waiting on that Luke Skywalker cameo that they have been talking about for the longest time. So 
everyone stay tuned it's it, this is getting so much more interesting thank you all for watching did i miss anything please let me know down in the comments section and please remember to like comment share this post on all social media platforms thanks for hanging out with me have a great day too i'll see you later